Have you ever said, I can't afford it? Hands up. <laughs> so today's episode is all about the difference between I can't afford it, people. I don't have the money for that, people. Um, no, I can't invest that much right now, people. And I don't have it yet, but I will get it soon. Watch me, people. So you might already be able to feel the energy difference in that from I can't afford it. No, I'm not going to be able to stretch to that to I don't have it right now, but I'm going to get that. Watch me. Okay, so I believe that the worst affirmation in the world that so many people use, even today, I've heard five people, um, three were on my inbox and two were in person. And I've only seen a few people today. And their affirmation was, I can't afford it. If you know anything about affirmations, you will know that whatever you believe is what you get. Whatever you say is what you get, is what you call in. So if you are affirming, I can't afford it. I don't have money for that. Oh, that's too much of a stretch for me. Um, What else? Any of these affirmations, then so it is. The universe is listening. That is what you will get. And likely you won't become able to afford it. And it's almost like if I say, you know, if someone says, hey, do you want to buy this yacht? And I go, oh, my God, I can't afford it. I will likely never afford it or I will likely shut off any chance of affording it. I will likely close down all channels of manifesting it. And even if I actually do want it. And, you know, and in my journey, I would like to own that yacht. It's likely I'm not going to get there. However, if I use the terminology of like, either I'm not prioritizing buying a yacht right now, then the frequency of that is very high, is like, It's very like respectful to money. It's very high vibe. It's very high frequency. It's very like owning my desires. It's very much owning my priorities. And yeah, and the difference between that, and I've had this happen so many times and I am this person. So I speak from um, experience of myself in many ways. And I also speak from experience of multiple clients over the years. And in fact, even in my very latest launch, the 12 Step Self Love Transformation, I had quite a lot of people who were like, oh, I want to do it. I want to do it, but I can't afford it. Well, I can't afford it right now. Um, and then I also had some, I had a few people who said, mm, I don't have that money, oh, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to manifest it. And guess what? They're the people that are in the 12 step self love transformation right now, benefiting from all of the magic and amplifying that. And also, part of the 12 step self love transformation is completely intertwined with money and wealth and making more money and holding more money energy and having the worthiness to ask for more, retain more you know, just holding more money as energy. And so um, speaking from experience, so I'm going to tell you a story of one of my past clients. Her name is Romy. She is a dream client. So I met Romy in Bali a few years ago. And yeah, she came on a call with me and she was like, yeah, I know you, I want you to be my coach. And when I told her how much it is, which is a fair chunk for one-to-one coaching, she was like, yeah, okay. I do not have that money right now. I'll be completely honest. And I will get it. I will find it. I will manifest it. And sure enough, within, I think, two months, 
she had manifested the entire amount and paid in full. And that is not from her normal job. It's not from, you know, normal channels. That was from money from the universe. So what I mean by money from the universe is when money unexpectedly comes to you or when, you know, something just kicks in and it comes to you. So with this example, um, some of the ladies who joined 12 Step Self Love Transformation have already had their full investment back and more um, unexpectedly from the universe. And we have a thread in the 12 step self love transformation, which is all the people who have manifested their in full investment back within the time frame, and exactly how, what came in, exactly where it was from, exactly how they feel, exactly if they were expecting it, were they not? And it kind of runs through and there's hundreds of those in our groups. And so the new ladies have only been in less than a week, some of them, and some of them are like, OMG, I just got an unexpected bonus from this, from that. Um, One woman was, I don't know exactly what she does, but she was like, oh my God, I've just added up my tips for the year. And her tips came to pretty much double the investment of the course. So that was amazing and unexpected. So money can come from unexpected ways if you're open to it. Remember, money does not just come from income. A lot of people, when I do this money work with them, feel they're like, I'm like, where do you get money from? And they're like, my job, my income. And I'm like, where else? And they're like, "Mm, that's it. And I'm like, okay, where else could you get money from? And we do this exercise, it's about opening the channels to receive more money, more wealth, more abundance, more energetic channels, more energy, more frequency. And, you know, there's so many ways, so many ways. There is gifts, there is bonuses, there is finding money in the street, there's finding money in pockets, in handbags, there is getting an unexpected tax rebate, there's getting a bonus from work there's winning money there is you know unexpected dividends or um investments that could suddenly shift there is a friend just you know saying this actually happened to one lady say a friend said to one of the ladies you know what um you've been so good to me you took me in when I didn't have anywhere to live and you were so kind, so generous, never asked for anything in return. Now I'm doing really well and I'd like to pay for this for you. Wow. Like how incredible is that? And so this, I believe, is the universe giving you what you want. And I believe the universe wants to give you what you want. So as this money drops in and it can come from anywhere, So just because it comes from, say, a family member or a friend or a business, you know, a boss or whatever, it doesn't necessarily mean they're giving it you and in them giving it to you, they have less. Because ultimately, I believe that we all have the same amount of potential in terms of like we all have money waiting to come to us. It's all around us, all the money that ever was, that's ever been printed, that ever occurred is already there all it is is moving it into different people's hands would you agree so money and bringing it into people's hands is why not be in your hands why not let you create the foundation so I believe people working with me is like the advert give a man a fish and he'll eat for a week give a man a net and he'll eat forever and feed his family forever. So I believe that learning self-love and abundance creation and manifestation and all these things that I teach is like me giving you a net to feed your family for the rest of your life and more. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So just going back to Romy, Romy was a fantastic client because she makes shit happen and you 
listening have the same potential as Romy and me to make stuff happen. Like if you believe you can have it, you can. The only thing it's, are you a Mexi can or a Mexi can't? And so basically I can't afford that is a Mexi can't. I can't afford that. I won't let myself have that. It's a, it's a slam door. It's a no, it's a no to the universe. It's no potential. It's just, ooh. whereas I don't have it, but get, I will get it. Watch me. I will manifest that money. Anybody who comes through to me and says that I'm so excited for, because that is fighting talk. That is showing up for myself go getting it, letting things happen, receiving from the universe, whatever it is. And magic happens when we're in that frequency. So I can't afford it becomes either I'm not prioritizing purchasing that right now, or "Mm, that's fun. I don't have that right now, but I will get that. And I just find it really fun to be like, watch me, watch me, you know, it's super exciting. And, you know, this happens at every level. So this week, myself and another very close friend of mine, who you all know, have signed up to go on a retreat in Peru. And now, when was it? When we were in Ibiza, not last year, so we're in January now, not last August, the August before, we were in Ibiza, we did a road trip to Ibiza, and I heard about this retreat and was so full body yes to going, asked how much it was and nearly fell off my chair at the amount, not surprised because this person who runs it, Regan Hillier, is like next, 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 next level queen codes, all the things, eight figure millionaire, multimillionaire, bazillionaire. And it's her retreat and everyone that will be going will be a millionaire at least. And I was like, I'm going on that. I don't have that right now, but I will have it. And I am going on that. And obviously we were in C-bomb times, things going on in the world and didn't go at that point, didn't think I'd be able to make it to Peru. (laughs) Um, However, the opportunity came around again recently and there was two spots left. So guess who has taken those two spots? Yes, we have. (laughs) And this is a massive stretch. This is a massive stretch to do. And it's like, okay, I could have said, "Mm, can't afford it, but no, that's not my style. That's not my new conditioning. That's not how I roll. I want to be in that room. My desire is to be in that room. Well, in that retreat center. Um, I've already seen the future of me working with this. I'm already working with this coach, but in person with this woman. And I was like, it's happening. And you know what? As soon as I paid the first deposit, a payment that I had no idea I was getting. So I was speaking to the woman. She sends me the payment link. I'm like, full fuck yes, doing it. I pay the first deposit, the first bonus. And between then and like, it going through, it came up on my account that the same amount that I just paid to the amount, to the exact amount just came into my account. And I was like, wow. So I said to the woman, like the saleswoman from the, from Regan Hillier International, I was like, oh my God, you would not believe what has just happened. A payment that I wasn't expecting has just come in for the exact amount bosh and she's like yeah that's how fast it happens we're in the vortex and I was like yeah exactly so if I had sat there and said I can't afford it who knows would that have come in so I wanted to share these little tidbits with you where whatever level you're at there's going to be times when you are stretched and the difference between a can't afford it person and 
I don't have it yet, but watch me. I'm going to manifest like a pro. Don't even know how to manifest. Don't even know what I'm doing. Don't even know how it will come in, but watch me. There is two days left for me to enroll to this course, for me to sign up for this retreat, for me to work with you as a coach, whatever it is, for me to buy this holiday, for me to buy this Cartier watch, for me to buy this new car. There is this much time and I'm, it's mine. That plants a seed to the universe of like, this is where I'm going. This is my desire. I can have what I want and nobody loses out. Nobody loses out. So I'll leave you with that. I hope this episode, this tidbit episode has been powerful for you as it has for me and for my lovely clients, for my ladies in the 12 step self-love transformation and whatever you are desiring for your next level self, for your next investment in yourself, for your next, yeah, for your future human, whatever that is, start saying, I'm having that. That's mine. I'm going there. That's where I'm going. Watch me. Let's see how, like once you know with absolute certainty that you're doing it. And also, last thing, people who say, "Mm, I don't have the money, I'll do it next time. So I've launched the 12 step self love transformation, I think 10, 12, 12, maybe even 15 times over the last years. And when it comes to the time that it's open, I will, you know, people will message me, how much is it? When does it start? And I can see the thread of what we've spoken about in other launches and People who say, I don't have the money for this. I'll do it next time. Next time never comes. Whenever I hear that, I'll do it next time. I pretty much can guarantee that person will not be in the course next time. Because next time is not a place. Next time is not a frequency. Next time is no. Next time is forget it. Next time is universe, I don't want this. Watch me manifest this money and jump in. Watch me is a vibe. (laughs) So if you are a next time kind of person, just know next time means no. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I have really enjoyed talking about this tonight. I'm actually recording a three-part wealth activation for my 12-step self-love transformation ladies. So this has been like a little warm-up taster session for that. And yeah, I have this year um, embodied some serious wealth activation codes and more to come. Um, Yeah, and it's really, really exciting because self-love and money energy are very, very, very similar. And the amount of worthiness, the way we value ourselves, the way we respect ourselves, the way we value our God-given gifts, the way we value our education, the way we value our commitment, our dedication, who we are, that is all reflected in the amount of money we can make and hold. So what I'm really interested in teaching in my self-love groups is very much around creating, which is art. Creating money is like art to me and holding it, being in a frequency to hold it, which a lot of people struggle with. So I am so excited. Let me know how this has gone for you on the Insta grizzle, send me, tag, tag me, send me, um, maybe another woman needs to hear this. Maybe another man needs to hear this. Just signing up a new one-to-one client who is a man, an amazing man. Um, yeah. And thank you for listening. I am so excited to get these codes to you. Ah, okay. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.